So Unbreakable is directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and it is his first movie in the Unbreakable Split Glass series, or trilogy I should say. So it stars Bruce Willis, who plays a character named David Dunn, who's a dad, husband, and this movie is about him figuring out his powers that were instilled in him for a very long time. He notices these powers right from the get-go of the film after he survives a train accident without a scratch. Later on, he meets Samuel L. Jackson's character, Elijah Price, who is the eventual villain in the end. And I'll talk more about that later on in this video. So he's born with this disease where his bones are extremely sensitive. And I'm pretty sure in the movie, they pointed out that he had several broken bones in his lifetime. So Elijah is a huge comic book fan. To him, the hero and the villain are friends, but they're the exact opposite of each other. So basically, he's been finding someone that is the exact opposite of him, like someone who can't get hurt. And turns out that someone is David Dunn. So now I'm going to talk about how I felt about this movie. So this movie as a whole was pretty good. The acting was good, directing was great. Even the soundtrack fit perfectly with this movie. This had basically everything that a good movie should have. The first half, however, was a bit boring for me, honestly. But the movie slowly gets better in the second half. Like, the first half just felt too slow for me, like... It was just a bit boring, like, that's my, that's really my only problem with this film. So Bruce Willis's character in this movie slowly learns that he's truly in fact a superhero. He notices he can't get sick, he can lift an insane amount of weights, but... He really gets in his form when he enters an abandoned warehouse where he gets flashbacks of his past car accident and at that moment he knew that he was different from everyone else. At this point in the film, <laughs> I got super hyped. This was when the movie took a turn in a really good way. The second half really made my viewing of this film. So after that, he enters the subway station and he can basically tell what others have been up to in recent history by just getting in contact with them, like bumping into them, touching them, like anything. And he sees all these horrendous things being done. Basically, whoever he touches, he can see all the bad stuff that they've done recently. So when he visualizes a guy murdering the parents of two kids, he follows the guy home. Now, he quickly saves the two kids, but then he fights the guy. Now, he headlocks him to death. Now that soundtrack in the final fight was amazing. Now James Newton Howard did a phenomenal job with the soundtrack. Like, amazing. Now these last couple of scenes had so much suspense and it was easily the best part of the movie, for me at least. So, now for the twist. At the end of the movie, David meets Elijah and, you know, they talk, they're friends, right? So they shake hands. And David sees everything that Elijah has done recently. He finds out that Elijah was the one who caused the train accident. This time, Elijah was trying to find the person who's the exact opposite of him. Someone who's invincible. And David is that guy. So in the end, Elijah's the true winner. And that's really it for the movie. And that was the big twist in the end. So I want to touch on one more thing I liked about this film. This is... A superhero movie like a superhero in disguise and it's so different compared to marvel and dc films and i think that's something very unique and it still probably holds well today even though it was released in 2000 so from what i can tell this is a really underrated movie and i'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of ten so even though i didn't enjoy the first half of the movie this was still a really great film that's why i'm giving it a high grade so there's movies that I watched that suck, but I still enjoyed them. And there are films that I enjoyed much more than Unbreakable, that are probably not as good as Unbreakable as an overall film from an unbiased perspective. But I can still justify giving films that I don't enjoy too much higher grades if they have aspects of a good film. Like I'm not saying I didn't enjoy Unbreakable, I just thought I would enjoy it a bit more. And that's mainly due to the first half of the movie. So, I hope you guys get what I mean. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna work on reviewing Split soon before I go watch Glass. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Peace.